State Youth Leadership Council is a youth-run organization that works creating equal opportunity for immigrant youth as well as those who are children of immigrants through advocacy, organizing, and leadership. One of their main goals for the year 2011 is the passing of the DREAM Act bill, a bill that would allow immigrant youth who have grown up in the United States to receive financial aid, New York State licenses, and obtain other government-issued services. The NYSYLC has taken to the social networking to get set up and really get the people engaged. And we're pleased to have Melissa Garcia Velez, a member of the council, who's here to speak more on their mission. And uh, good to have you. Good, thank you. So you guys are doing some advocacy, and you've taken the social networking really to accelerate things. Share a little bit about the accelerated work through social networking and what you've been able to do. Oh, well, we've been able to inform people about what the DREAM Act is, who are the, the DREAMers, the undocumented students, and the kind of work that we've been doing. Um, we've been able to set up marches and rallies. Uh, recently, we had a rally at Union Square where a lot of people show up. People who, you know, because of the Facebook page that we made, the Twitter um, tweets that we, we made also, a lot of people came to join and learn more about the DREAMers and the stories where... Um, Almost 20 dreamers came out saying that they were undocumented, unafraid, and unapologetic. Uh, we've been able to also inform other around the states of dreamers who ha who are at the risk of being deported, and we've been able to send out petitions where they can help or what they can call congressmen. Um, also lobbying, phone banking. Last December, when the Sen when the dreamer came up for vote in the House and the Senate, there was. A whole month of advocacy and you know calling congressmen telling them please support the dream act it's very it's a very important bill for us L let, me, so, let me go to the dream act let me yeah. cut it because many people may not be so familiar with the dream act so yeah. let, let's let let's let our viewers know what exactly the dream act is um it's a bill that will allow undocumented youth uh and open a pathway to citizenship uh they must have arrived to the united states before the six before 16 uh been here five years consecutively graduated high school have good moral good moral character and be uh two years in college or two years in the military mm -hmm. and it will open a pathway to citizenship there's a number that's out there that i thought was kind of you know interesting Seven hundred sixty-five thousand undocumented students between the ages of 13 and 18. Uh, mm -hmm. that's a large number yes very that's and that's why we're trying to mobilize so many people because this is something that is coming up every every year you know I, I'm an undocumented student and let I was able to make it to college but there are others who just lose hope because they don't see the opportunity because they can pay it off or things like that and that's why we're trying to mobilize this and make this the you know the big issue that it is because it's a big issue and a lot of people are not aware of it mm -hmm. so which through the social networks we're informing people, educating people about the situation. So let's go to social networking. What forms of social networking are you using and, and where can people find out some stuff about this? Uh, we have the Facebook page, we have a Twitter page, we're using YouTube to post videos of undocumented students coming out. Um, we have the Facebook page where we're always posting information, meetings. Uh, the YLC is always having general meetings where they inform the public of what they're doing, what campaigns they're taking on. Uh, we also have a support group, we have a leadership group so there are different groups that they have and through that we try to embrace as many people that want to join the YLC also with the Twitters we're also tweeting you know different projects different forums or immigration forums that are occurring in the city or around the states for other people to know so when you talk about undocumented there's a certain amount of myths that come with dealing with undocumented can you break down some of those myths that people might have about dealing with undocumented Many people see us as criminals, you know, those undocumented youth as criminals. Um, we were here at an early age because our parents had a vision, of, you know, of a better life for us. And we had no say in, in that movement from our native countries to here. Um, they also think that, you know, we don't, uh, immigrants, you know, undocumented immigrants don't pay taxes or that we're taking jobs or things like that. We do pay taxes, you know, many people ha use a tax ID number and be, we don't get the, we pay, many people don't get the benefits of paying that you know when you pay taxes, but they are, we are paying the taxes. Um, also, they they view, like I said, they view us as criminals, and you know that's why we are having this mobilization to show that we're students and that we want a better life here, and that's what we're educating ourselves, going to trying to go to school, many of us, um, and working. So we want to sh you know change the mind that many people have of us. 
So w when you talk about people changing the minds, are you? Wor I mean, have you seen minds being changed? Because obviously, yeah. you know, it's hard to break down myths, yes. hard to break down stereotypes. But I I'm assuming that there are a lot of people who change minds now that they find out more information. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's very hard to change somebody's view from, you know, in a day. Mm -hmm. But by having all these students coming out, being brave enough to share their status, because they're taking a risk. We're taking a risk by sharing that we're undocumented. And by taking that risk, we're, that's what we're trying to do. That's our, one of our goals, you know, telling others who are not informed of who we are. You know, we are students. We're human beings. And we want to change the language, the rhetoric that they use against us, you know, illegal aliens or criminals. We're not criminals. We're not aliens. And by coming out, again, sharing our stories of, you know, triumphs and victories and where we also were, there was no su success, we want to change that. We want, that's what we're working on, you know, having people just look, take a different look at us and see, okay, you know, they're coming out, they're sharing their story, and they are prevailing in one way or another. How can people become involved with your endeavor? Um, you know, join, come to the YLC meetings, uh, join the Facebook page, the Twitter page, um, and just being, in, you know, stay tuned to what's happening with the immigration issue and overall. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so you can come to our general meetings, which are always um, bi-weekly, uh, usually Wednesdays at 630. Where? It's in 225th Avenue on the fifth floor. Okay. So you can get a chance to go to 25th Avenue. People can find out more about it. Yes. And then we encourage them also, right, go to the Facebook page. Yes. And you're tweeting as well. Yes, we are. All right. So you wanted to go out there, Facebook, tweet, and then become a part. Thank you so much Thank for coming so and sharing. Best wishes with your endeavor. Thank you. All righty.